Uh, Dr. Salia Hassan has been to meet an inventor who is helping people for whom that sadly isn't true. Much of what we do without thinking relies on precise coordination of our hands. Something that for many, like Alison in Bath and Tom in Essex, can be extremely difficult. Say that plug there. I can't even put that on there because I shake about too much. OK. It's just ridiculous. Like over a million people across the UK, Tom and Alison suffer with a severe hand tremor. It's just a challenge using normal things like a dustpan and brush. When I go to hold it, the dust just flies everywhere. People don't realise how disabling it is. I'd give anything to stop doing this so I could live a bit more normal like. Tremors are caused by neurological problems, like Parkinson's disease in Alison's case, or essential tremor in Tom's. And unfortunately, medication doesn't always work. So Tom and Alison are taking part in a new trial that hopes to transform the lives of sufferers. Good afternoon. I'm Salia. Hi. How are you? Come on Good, in. Come thank on in. you. Inventor Fai Ong was a medical student when he decided to try and tackle the problem. Not through medication, but with physics. He decided to build a device based on a very simple technology. What we really thought was exceedingly elegant as a solution was a simple gyroscope. A gyroscope is a gadget that's designed to remain steady and in the same position. As the wheel inside the mechanism spins, a force is generated, keeping the gyroscope upright. Fi believes the same concept could stabilise hand tremors. So our basic understanding is that if we take this and fasten it to the hand, then we have at least a good chance of reducing tremors as best as possible. Fi has incorporated industrial strength gyroscopes into a prototype glove that he's trialling with sufferers. All right, welcome to a little uh, <laughs> office. Right. Yeah, just Thanks grab a seat here, that's all right. Tom's come in for his very first test session. Very <laughs> The glove is still in the development stage. Let's wait for it to get speed. Today, Fi is assessing whether the fit and size of the device right. is appropriate for Tom's tremor. Vi's mm -hmm. aim is to make a glove that is small, quiet and portable enough to enable users to perform everyday tasks. While the team continue to tweak Tom's glove, Alison has come in for her second test to see whether her customised glove will work and she's desperate to find something that can help her. So it's six years I've been diagnosed mm -hmm. and it just does get worse. To show me her struggles, Alison tries to perform one of Fi's regular tests to draw a simple spiral. I just can't get anywhere near, and you yeah. know what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you frustration. Can't... <laughs> the frustration, yeah. With the glove already adapted to Alison's hand tremor, will it make a difference? Oh my God. That is like, I'm, it, uh, I'm so blown away by and what it's I've tearful. just seen. I find it hard, because oh. it's controlling your hand again. Wow. It's the most amazing sensation to have your hand back. How do you feel? It's just wonderful, because you feel like you've got two hands again. It's a remarkable result for Alison and a great step for Fi and his team towards releasing their first glove to target those who need it most. Being here today has been a real privilege. Watching Alison draw that spiral and that look on her face when she did it was priceless. It was so emotional. And if the trials work out, it could help transform the lives of thousands of people who suffer from this debilitating condition. Isn't some, that fantastic? Yeah, isn't some that of the stuff amazing. we're hearing and seeing on amazing. tonight's programme. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Salia. Uh, we've spoken to Alison and she's heading back to the lab this week for more tests and they do hope uh, to perfect the glove early next year. Good news. We